Hello, and welcome to episode 4 of the series covering my development of a Python video game engine. Uh, last time we left off uh, with me having added uh, two important features to the engine's GUI uh, system, and GUI is um, kind of the official pronunciation of GUI, which stands for Graphical User, Inter uh, user Interface. I know a couple of the viewers had been caught up on me saying GUI and not understanding what I was talking about. So it, it does indeed stand for Graphical User Interface. Um, the two features that I added in the last video to the GUI system, uh, the first is Constraint, and that's an optional setting that allows you to uh, limit, um, say for example in the, what, the image that you see here, it limits the movement of the red inner window to within the boundaries of its parent, the white window. Uh, in addition to that, um, if you had constraint set to false, meaning you could move the red window past the boundaries, there's a second feature. Um, I'm going to call it clipping. That may not be the best word, but that's what I'm going to call it. Um, clipping that prevents that red window from being shown outside of the boundaries of its parent. Um, I've added one more feature uh, to that today. Uh, to the GUI system, and that's visibility control. And what that means, um, we'll take the example of what you see here again, uh, the red window inside the white window. If you set the white window uh, to, to be invisible, the game uh, engine will not show the red window either. And at the time of the last video, I did not have that in place, so that would have caused problems. But now I've got that in place, and so if I set the white window to invisible, the red would no longer show up. Uh, the big change uh, since last time is that I've started to do uh, image-based GUI rendering. Um, what, what we had seen in the past is just you know colored squares. Uh, since that time, we've developed a rough draft for what we'd like the uh, you know default window appearance to be. I had a friend, uh, Space Omega. Some of you may know him. Um, is helping me to develop. Um, some images for a couple of the different GUI elements. Uh, so this is our window so far. Um, and what the game does is it takes each piece of a window image and puts it in the correct place and the parts in the middle get scaled or stretched to fill the gap based on the size of the window. So the corner always looks, all the corners always look the same and then the parts in between the corners and in the middle get stretched depending on the size of the window. So that's why um, you know, you see the red and you see the white, and there isn't any um, artifacting or any type of negative effects that you normally see when you're stretching an image. Uh, one additional modification that I've made uh, to the window class um, is that whenever you create a window, it's automatically created with a uh, generic GUI control on the inside. And the point behind that is the GUI control is made 21 pixels shorter uh, from top to bottom than the window itself and it's positioned 21 pixels down from the top and the reason why I've implemented that is because it provides an easy way to take the existing parent-child uh, management system and use that to contain the inner red window uh, so that you cannot put it on top of the uh, say menu bar at the top of the window here and that's this area right here at the top where you would normally drag the window. Uh, the additional benefit behind that is um, it prevents you from dragging the window uh, at any other place other than the top. So I don't know if you can hear that clicking on your end but I'm trying to drag this red window from the middle and you cannot do it. You have to drag it from the bar and that's the way that I wanted it to be and it's the same with this outer window. You cannot drag it from the center, you have to drag it from the top. Um, I've just implemented the image-based rendering today. Um, there's big room for improvement here, especially when it comes to uh, rendering all this efficiently. Um, definitely some improvements I want to make, but I did get the basic functionality put in, but we'll need to make that a whole lot more efficient to keep our uh, frame rate up because um, it's definitely it's definitely impacting um, each uh, window that I add to the screen um, 
you know there's a noticeable impact on the frame rate so uh, I'll be looking to make that more efficient uh, in the coming days uh, that's it for now uh, probably what I'll have ready for the next video um, would be buttons for the windows uh, allowing you to do things like closing and minimizing and maximizing and then general purpose buttons for uh, putting inside the windows themselves um, but that's all for now uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.